everybody and welcome back to Quarantine Kids Storytime. So my name's Sasha Cooper and I'm the co-founder of the project. Now we interrupt your enjoyment of The Invisible Man to bring you a very special poem for today. Now in case you don't know what it is ladies and gentlemen boys and girls it's Bonfire Night or more commonly known as Guy Fawkes Night. This particular night is to mark the occasion when Guy Fawkes attempted to bring down Parliament in the best way he possibly could. Dynamite! <laughs> and I'm not talking about a dynamite idea, although technically speaking it might have been, but it would have worked if he hadn't been caught out. So this poem that I'm going to read for you today actually envelops the spirit of Bonfire Night itself. And not only that, it's a very special tale because it's a folk tale. So I hope you enjoy this. The 5th of November, an English folk verse from 1870. Remember, remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder treason and plot. I know of no reason why the gunpowder season should ever be forgot. Guy Fawkes and his companions did the scheme contrive to blow the king and parliament all up alive. Three score barrels laid below to prove old England's overthrow. But by God's providence, him they catch with a dark lantern lighting a match, a stick and a stake for King James's sake. If you won't give me one, I'll take two. The better for me and the worse for you. A rope, a rope to hang the Pope, a penneth of cheese to choke him, a pint of beer to wash it down and a jolly good fire to burn him. Hola boys, hola boys, make the bells ring. Hola boys, Hola boys, God save the king. Hip hip, hooray. And there you have it, everybody. That is the official poem that we hear every single year associated with Bonfire Night or, of course, Guy Fawkes Night. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you are having your own private parties tonight, obviously within restrictions for lockdown, Please obviously stay safe and also I hope you enjoy the fireworks. My name's Sasha Cooper and this has been Quarantine Kids Storytime. As always, take care of yourselves, stay safe and I'll see you for the weekly weekend roundup on Saturday. Bye bye! <laughs>